Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing insurance in the context of Thai immigration and visas. And a recent letter that was sent to the Bangkok Post post bag, it was sent, or this was in the print edition of the Bangkok Post, December 19th, 2020, it was titled Immigration Games, and the sender was Farang's Anonymous. And quoting directly, why does immigration refuse to accept notifications from government agencies and or insurance companies that clearly state bona fide payments to recipients on a yearly basis? I am talking about social security payments, government pensions, as well as private pension payments. Stated requirements say they are perfectly acceptable as a proven source of income. Not getting into the proven source of income part of this, I'm specifically talking about the insurance portion of this. I made videos contemporaneously with this one where we talk about issues pertaining to pension and social security. But long story short, with respect to insurance, I think what the writer is talking about here is foreign insurance coverage. And this can be a problem, and I have seen this come up relatively frequently, where you have insurance coverage from a provider abroad that does meet the requirements pursuant to Thai law, and it just becomes very, very cumbersome to deal with the immigration officer who is adjudicating the extension application because basically it's a foreign policy. Oftentimes it's not written in Thai. In fact, most of the time we see it's not written in Thai. So you have to deal with some sort of translation. And then on top of that, that officer is just uncomfortable with you know, going ahead and approving that based on that foreign insurance documentation. Notwithstanding the fact that that documentation may be fully up to par with respect to Thai immigration regulations. And this comes down to the fact that at the end of the day, Thai immigration officers aren't insurance experts, and they're definitely not experts with respect to foreign insurance. Now, I'm not saying that that makes this situation okay. What I'm saying is, is you know, when they're dealing with so many different people, there's a lot of retirees in Thailand. There's tens of thousands of them, to be precise. And if each one of them has a different type of insurance, or large groups of them have different types of insurance from abroad, it's, it's difficult to the point of, I would argue, impossible for an immigration officer to be up to, up to a level of expertise on foreign insurance to be able to gauge whether or not it meets the requirements. Again, this isn't an excuse. It's just, in my mind, I often find that folks, once, they're, once it's explained why a situation is what it is, notwithstanding the fact it may still be frustrating, it's a little bit easier to deal with it and just sort of move forward in finding a solution because they know why it is the way it is. It doesn't seem just arbitrary and capricious. There is an actual reason behind the situation. In this case, with respect to foreign insurance, yeah, I, I do understand people's frustration, but at the end of the day, again, a Thai insurance provider where the, where the policy is all in Thai and that officer can just quickly go to the relevant sections to make sure that it's in line with Thai regulations, that's going to be a much smoother process than one who has uh, as insurance from abroad and is trying to operate and deal with immigration where that officer cannot readily point to exactly where that insurance fits with the requirements required by Thai immigration law.